Dear Travelers. Not Dear Travelers. And I know these places you've been are your babies. Can you pick a favorite? My favorite, man, that's tough, man. And Africa is definitely my favorite continent. Okay, I've been yeah. to about 20, roughly 15 to 20 African countries, but man, mm. Africa is so diverse. It's the most genetically diverse continent in the world, man. Africa got more countries than any other continent, man. The, the countries, the animals, the landscapes, you know, the people, just very, very beautiful. You know, we just generalize Africa so much. Like, if it's a war in Nigeria, people be like, oh, Africa, there's a war over there, or right. disease in this country. They kind of painted the whole continent, you know? That's crazy, man. You're right, though. And man, when you go to, uh, man, what's, what's, I just, it just slipped my mind. Um, Rick, man, it's a lot of money out there. I can't even think of the name of this country. Dubai. Dubai, yes. Yeah, a lot. Of, yeah, I've had a chance. I I got close to Dubai. I went to Bahrain instead, but that was the military travel. Mm. Oh, Bahrain was cool. Bahrain was nice. Bahrain was nice. Definitely a different experience. <laughs> Anything you brought back that that you know that you have in the house that you know you kind of cherish? Uh, no, nah, not really, man. I travel so light. I'll be giving all that stuff away or selling mm -hmm. it because I don't want to get attached. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. I always see, cause I, you know what I'm saying? I always see something amazing. Like every time I go to a different country, I right. find chess sets and masks and mm. all type of stuff, man. That's it's cool. just an amazing experience. There's, there's one thing, man, I want to, uh, uh, touch base with you with. I remember, um, doing a little bit of research on you, man. I saw in one of your interviews that you had mentioned that you had traveled to Ghana and um, you spoke about how, um, how unique and like, you know, you know, how much you felt like, you know, at home, especially with it being like close to where, like, you know, where the ships at, for like, you know, the slave ships, uh, bar like, you know, they, they departed from there and taking a lot, a lot of our people from there. And it's funny that you mentioned Ghana because um, my wife, you know, at, She's she's passed now, but she, her father was from Ghana, mm. and that and she had a chance to go back and she saw um she had been inside the um uh, like the uh the uh the the slave prisons and everything before they before they housed a lot of slaves that before they sent them out to uh to um on this on the ships and she said like how how that you know she felt the pains and everything of 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 like our people going through that and it was just really like a like a liberating experience so um with ghana did did it did it have a, a big cultural significance to you as well when you went there yeah definitely i think it does for for most of the african americans that return it's a sense of closure it's hard mm -hmm. to put it in words you know when you enter the slave dungeons and you walk through the door of no return you know you can feel a certain type of energy and it's other parts of africa where you feel things and you see things and sometimes it's, it's almost in, indescribable, but I think it's important because a lot of misconceptions are cleared up because we're taught one thing about Africa and slavery. But when you go to Ghana, you know, you can hear their side of it. You can learn about the people that were fighting back and trying to stop slavery. You know, we kind of got this idea that all Africans were slave traders and they all sold yeah. everybody out when that wasn't necessarily the case. You know what I'm saying? Africa, gotcha. like I say, it's so diverse. It's thousands of ethnic groups. Like Ethiopia is one country. They got almost 90 ethnic groups. You feel mm. what I'm saying? We call them tribes or whatever, but that kind of diminishes the significance of that group of people. They had kingdoms, you know, not the 50 countries that we see today. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Boy, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people, man. Beautiful people, man. You know, it's, you know, uh, you, you, you see, you know, people see like different uh, old movies that will describe what Africa is, and you know, but man, the people are there, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. I mean, just the traditions, you know, that are there that that are, you know, just oh man, I I love just sitting down talking to a lot of people that, that are from there. I have, I have a I have a, a friend that's from Ghana too. Um, you know, she she oh she's like Clint, you gotta come, you gotta come. So I gotta that's one of my things I gotta make sure that I, I plan because she it ain't it ain't nothing for her to get up and go to Ghana. You know, she yeah she, she's in America, but it ain't nothing. She was just like, listen, let me know. I get that plane ticket. You know, she got family out there. So uh but yeah, like you said, it's, it's 
you know, it, it definitely tribes is a good way um, to explain. But, you, you know, I want to ask you something about like just kind of sticking on tribes like that. Um, you know, a lot of people like I always look at, you know, when we look at, you know, in America, just just seeing like gangs and, um, you know, way, the way we choose to, to gather together. You know, young people choose to gather in America. Uh, the, you, with your travels in to Africa versus seeing how we are in America, what correlation do you see? You know, like what what are the similarities that you see in the people there, young people there versus America? Um, I mean, you see a lot of things that are similar. I mean, you see people that look like people you know when you go to Africa. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like. People like they look like my cousin or my brother or my friend or somebody, and that's all around Africa. So, a lot of times when I'm in African countries, people, you know, they don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? Like, say if I go into a store and I'm looking around and I'm like, "Oh, how much is this?" Then they hear my hmm. voice and my accent. They're like, "Oh, where are you from?" Right. And I'm like, "Oh, I'm from America." Then they're like, "Oh, okay. So your mom is from your parents are from here." And I'm like, "No, nah, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm African American." So you know, definitely the resemblance. You know, the dances. Mm -hmm. How you say the music, you see elements of African music and culture in our music and in, in hip hop, in jazz, in uh, rhythm and blues and, you know, all of that stuff. Um, and You know what I'm saying? And even some of the ways that we had to cook our food and prepare our food just to survive. You know what I'm saying? We have a lot more in common than than we realize. But, right. you know, we don't really know our own history and what happened to us in America, let alone what happened in. 50 or 60 different countries in Africa. You know what I'm saying? Right. We have a huge identity crisis, man, which is, is sad amongst all of us, amongst us as a people, which we have a, a big identity crisis where we're still trying to find out who we are and just trying to yeah. connect. <laughs> Question, man, uh, has any of your, uh, your other family members, like your, your, uh, your siblings or your, your parents, have they had a chance to go back to, uh, to Africa as well? Um, I have some cousins that have went. My uncle went to Africa. They was going before me, so you know, definitely. Uh, my one cousin, she studied abroad. She lived in Africa, so they were definitely, you know, of, of influence. And they always had positive stories. You know what I'm saying? We we That's look good. at the news, man. All you see is rape, murder, and disease. all the time. Yeah, they they, they make sure they point that out. You know, you know what you know what the you know what the, the uh, news is. It's a tool, so you know. That that right there is just just a, just something to kind of brainwash you a little bit, but you know it, it is. Mm -hmm. it is. Um, is it anything? Is it anything when like when you went to Africa? Is it anything that you were like, like what was that first thing you was like, wow, I got like it just blew your mind. Like mm -hmm. what was that? Well, let me see. The first time I went to Africa was in like 2012, 2013, I believe. So at that time, it really wasn't a lot of content online. You know, that was almost 10, nine years ago. So mm -hmm. the things that I did look up on South Africa, like I said, was AIDS and rape and a bunch of negative stuff. So it wasn't a lot of positive things. So mm -hmm. I knew somebody that was living there and they invited me. And I went to Cape Town. That's the first place I went in South Africa. Mm -hmm. and when I got there, you know, the... the airports, the malls, the roads were paved, you know, they had Benzes and BMWs and Bentleys. I seen Bentleys in Africa. I seen African people that had on regular clothes, you know, they ran Nike and name brand stuff, beautiful women. So it, it just all hit me at once. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't Definitely. expecting to see that. I was expecting to see something more primitive and more, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Behind mm -hmm. the I hear you. Yeah, they they play that mind control with us where, you know, we just like we have some kind of preconceived uh, idea of what Africa is, but it's totally different mm. from and I, I've never been to Africa, but and it's definitely a place I, I definitely would, would love to see God willing that I have a chance to see that in the future. But um, I'm, it's def I'm pretty sure that for hearing from talking to people that I've, I've met here that are from Africa. It's not from compared to what they're saying. It's not like um, it's not like what we think it is in our minds at all. Ooh, you got to be careful in Africa, the women, bro. <laughs> bro, <laughs> like I mean, are you you single? 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh man, see you having fun out there, bro. Listen, let's... yeah, yeah. Oh man, the most beautiful <laughs> women you gonna see because it's real diverse. It's like, yeah, imagine we live in North America, right? You go from mm-hmm. say you go from America to Mexico to Canada to Jamaica to Haiti to Dominican Republic. Those places are totally different, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I said, was saying earlier, like you go from New York to L.A. That's different. You feel me? To Miami, right, right. To Chicago, those places are different. Africa, like 20 times mm. more diverse than that. You got women with straight hair, long hair, short hair, curly hair, dark skin, mixed, brown skin, light skin. You mm. know, it's amazing. And the people is very friendly, very hospitable, hospitable very welcoming. Because I know a lot of times we hear Africans don't like us. That's the number one thing. I yeah, mean. yeah. <laughs> but from my experience and living in America my entire life, I never... And it may be different in different cities and different states. I never heard a black American say I was walking down the street and I got robbed by some Africans or I got mm-hmm. jumped by some Africans or Africans did a drive by on my house or, you know, some of the things that we see other groups of people, even ourselves do to each other. I never seen Africans doing those things to African-Americans. You know, I'm mm-hmm. not saying it never happened, but, you know. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um Talk to me about um, these Black at the Berry, right? Mm-hmm. Black at the Berry uh, song that you got. Um, is that is that filmed here in the United States or? Yeah, I filmed that uh, back at the crib. I was at home <laughs> in okay. my city. Uh, it's a restaurant called Black Wall Street. It's a very beautiful. Oh, place. Wow. It looks good. That's all I was about to say. That that yeah. restaurant looks good, man. Yep, it's in the hood too, man. Okay. It's, wow. on, it's, it's on Kansman, 93rd. So they got a lot of pictures. And, you know, for people viewing, they could check out the video, but they got a lot of pictures of, you know, um, strong black men and women throughout the restaurant. But I chose to, you know, kind of highlight the women, mm-hmm. you know, for the concept of the video. You know, the Black of the Berry is basically just me giving respect to black women, letting them know that they are beautiful, they are loved, they are respected. You know, they are admired, you know, it's, it's, it's primarily for the dark skin, but it's for brown skin, light skin, mix, whatever. Just a black person, you know, a black woman, let them know that we love them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely go to his, his, um, his YouTube and check it out. Uh, so is it Sade Renee? Yeah, yeah. How, how did you, Sade Renee. Yeah, how did you link up with her? Oh, she's from around the way, so I know okay. she's real cool. Very talented. She do paintings and singing and acting. Really? She do everything. Yeah, that's dope, man. Oh yeah, I, I, you know she she um, you know well I'm gonna tell you straight. I, I you know my wife is very chocolate. You know I love chocolate women. You know that's just always been my preference. You know when she you know when I a lot of time when you see videos you don't I don't feel like we see enough. I, I need to see. You know, people her complexion all over. You know what I'm saying? Right, I'm saying? right. I could dig it. <laughs> yeah, I love it, man. I love it. And she, you know, said like she, she, she has this thing about her that I was kind of like. It's you know how some people like you see, you just see it on them. You know, like yeah. you know, um, she has something on her that I I can't even you know explain. But you know, it's it's probably more confidence. Mm-hmm. You know, do you get that from that's that's that is that is that something that you you like you get from her like what what um what what made you put her on this song man i'm telling you she just she just amazing and you could see it from the video she's right. very talented like i say she do a little bit of everything and she good at it though you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. yeah i, that, I mean she's cool. she a real cool respectable person you know beautiful and oh. everything nice man i, I like like i said shout out to her i mean uh, i definitely i wouldn't i wouldn't mind interviewing her as well you know oh yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how i let you yeah, because she 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 dope, man. You know we, you know um, we got two podcasts. You know we got uh one called called we well, obviously core room. Me and me and Trim, you know we putting together we put together um, podcasts about the culture. You know we got the core room, and then we also have uh the collab. Kind of like it's it's two females on there. Shout out to uh, Jay Sheree Tay. And also uh, Walt, but it's more of a you know it's going to deal about we deal on deal with relationship and stuff like that. We also do you know we got this this game that we play you know called Ultra Black. So whenever you know whenever you get a chance, check that out. But you know we're pretty we're really big on like trying to educate 
you know, black people in a fun way, you know, and uh, I like, I like the way it, it kind of reminds, like when I, when I think about that, it reminds me of what you're doing, educating people, being real passionate about your travels and, and, and trying to educate people. Like, listen, America is just not, it's not just America. It's all about the world. Black people are the world. You know, if you get, if you really study, we are more than just the United States, man. We are mm-hmm. everything to this planet. Everything. Okay. What do you see yourself 10 years with that message? Like, what do you plan on seeing yourself do and spreading that message around the world? Like, what do you you see yourself doing? Man, just trying to continue to share positive content about our history and our people. Um, Continue to travel, continue to network and build. Um, Continue to try to give back to the community. You know, I'm always socially active. Try to create more institutions and more opportunities to help empower people. Like in 2016, I co-founded a food cooperative. You know, I'm trying to get more into cooperative economics. I want to do a land co-op, a farming co-op. Mm. You know, I want to do more of that. Um, I done volunteered at orphanages, community centers, um, did a lot of tutoring, you know, uh, doing back to school drives, um, doing Christmas drives, doing winter drives, giving away hats and gloves and you know, just different things. I'm doing something now where I'm trying to, we send in books to people in prison. You know, some people don't get mail. They don't have a family to send them anything. So, you know, just trying to hit every, you know, plant seeds all over, man. And maybe I can inspire or motivate or, you know, empower some of my people globally. Mm. Oh, that's, that's dope, man. It's a dope way to get to uh, connect with your with your culture and, and give back to the community. I, I respect that. Right. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's inspiring, man. It's inspiring, mm-hmm. man. Knowing, knowing that Cleveland has a superhero. Oh wow! Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying like your superheroes don't wear capes, man. Not you know, it, it's people, it's people out there that do small things. That 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 will, you know. I got a lot of me personally. I have a lot of my OGs in my neighborhood still in me. Like they're they're in me. Like they they took five minutes to tell me that you more than just who you think you are. Five minutes. And that seed is still growing in me, man. That's oh. that that's that's what I'm talking about. Like it, it it ain't nothing but a small conversation. It ain't nothing but, you know, hey, listen, you ain't, you know, here's some here's something, like here's here's some money. You know, take take this, take this book. You know, go oh, read no. something. You know, get your head right. You know, we we used to. It was certain books that was floating around my neighborhood that everybody was reading. You know, from the Malcolm X biographies. You know, uh, shoot, to even like you know, um, you know, just like a lot of the the black art, like you know, like Native Son. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like we, we yeah. it, man, like you know, but that. That's cool, man. Like, because me, you know, we 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 you know we want to do things like that as well. And I see yourself, you know. Well, let me ask you, what do you see? What do you see when you what do you see yourself as? Like when you, you know, like what do you see yourself as? Because I, I like I said, I look, you know, the things you told me, man, you like a superhero, man. You giving you giving education to the people. What do you see yourself as? Man, I mean, I try to be regular, you know what I'm saying, like a regular person and blend in and just help any way I can, you know what I'm saying. Humble. That's so very, very that's, humble. That's the best person. Yo, Clint, man, I had I gotta say this, man. You mentioned about superheroes with no capes, but we learned that from the Incredibles, man. They don't have to wear capes. They don't wear right. capes, it's dangerous. Right, exactly. Yeah. Like, you know, like listen, it because you know, look, listen, they don't want no superheroes in the black neighborhood. I'm just saying. Yeah, you're right. One hundred percent. They right. lock they locking up the superheroes, man. Right. Yeah. They're locking them up or taking them out some kind of way. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, locking them up. Sometimes, like you said, you got to be regular. Sometimes, gotcha. sometimes you got to be Clark Kent all the time, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. You got to be Clark Kent. You don't want to fight, no. You, you see, you got the superpowers. Even your own people hate on your superpowers. Oh, yeah, yeah. no doubt, yeah. man. No doubt. Man, it's dangerous to be in the black man, bro. I tell you, you can't even do, you can't even do good. People hate on you for doing that. This is just yeah. crazy, man. But, man, I, I promise you, we ain't, we ain't going to hold you too long. 
tonight. I mean, I, I know, like I said, I, I could, we could be talking all night, but I, you know, when I, I'm going to tell you what I see, when I see you, bro, when I hear, when I hear from you, I, I see you as a, you know, you know, not only a person who, who cares about people, um, but you're a great resource. Definitely. You know, you're a great resource and we don't, a lot of us don't have resources. They don't, we don't have anybody regular to come to be like, yo, listen, I'm trying to start this. Mm -hmm. Let me help you out then. Come, come, to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the beautiful thing is that you have, you have a lot of like, it's a splashes of errors in you. You got the 60s, you know, like with, with, with the, you know, black movement, you know, uh, with the black power movement, um, you know, you have, you know, the eighties in you, you know, it's like whoever was around you, they planted those seeds and they grew and you, and you just taking it up and, 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 you know, doing what you're supposed to do. I commend you for that, man. I, that's just, that's just real. Hey, I appreciate y'all, man. And I commend y'all. I'm loving this show, man. I like what y'all doing. No doubt. I got to get appreciate it. it. Oh. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, man. I got to say this, man. I know my, I always go by the name uh, TRM for the Renaissance Man, but I got to give props to you because you are showing an example of what it is to be a modern day Renaissance Man by the things that you're doing. You're a lyricist, you're a, you're a lyricist um, and musician. You are an author. You are an activist. I mean, you're doing a lot of different things. So you're showing everybody how, how what it means to move in this day and age as a modern day uh, Renaissance Man. So kudos to you for what you're doing. But definitely that came most definitely yeah, we, we go you know with the core room man the thing about us is that like you know, i said we 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 want we trying to you know shed light on people who are in the dark you know those who are doing great things um and, and also trying to create this 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 tree of resources you know we got you know we got somebody that can draw we got somebody who create websites you know we got somebody you know we got people who rap we got somebody who create you know we got several people who, who are producers you know we got uh you know we got somebody that can rap we got somebody who can sing you know um we got somebody that you know that can act like we we're just trying to make sure that we we uh create this thing where everybody if you connected to this resource you could tap in hey Clint, you got you know somebody who do this you know, somebody mm -hmm. could do that. You know what? And, and then before you know it, you know, we all you know in this digital era, when they Googling us, shoot, your name come up. Yeah. You know what? You know, definitely. And we're just trying to, this is, I guess what they call it, group economics. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Group Very definition. Cooperative. Very definition of it. Yeah. Everybody do a little bit. We have a lot, man. That's how you got to move. And that's how we survived in this. <laughs> In, in in this in this country, you know, a little, we take a little, make it a lot, you know. Sure. Take so that also leads me to ask, man. So with, with everything that you're doing, man, I mean, do you have people that's helping to support you and what and the causes that you're doing, man? Uh, yeah, I have family and friends. You know how it is. I got some family and friends, man. They love everything I do. They try to support any and every way they can. You know what I'm saying? So, you know that that definitely keep me motivated. That's awesome. That's all. And, you know, whatever we can do to support you, we here. You know what I'm yes. saying? And, 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 you know, whatever you need, like I said, we go, I want you to, I do want you to listen to, you know, we got, you know, like I said, we got Dark Ages out and I want you to listen to that. Uh, like I said, if you need, you know, you working on a project, this is, this is your home now, you know, and, you know, whatever, wherever we all, we, when you connected to us, we, we support that, man. We going, you know, do what we can, whatever little we have, you got to, so. Oh, likewise. I'm going to definitely holler at Sharday, And I know some international cats, man. They, they'd love to come home. If you want them to take it global, I, I'll give them your info. Oh, yeah, for real. For real, man. So, listen, um, I, man, I, I, I want, you know, man, I, I got, man, I just be having questions all over the place. We, we'll, we'll do a part two to this, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I really wanted to put your, you know, put your, your hip-hop knowledge to the test next time. Yeah, okay, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, we'll do that next time, man. You know, like I said, this ain't, this ain't gonna be the last time you're gonna be on. So, oh, yeah, no doubt. Uh, 
Um, so, sure, man, if you got any last words, anything, man? Oh. I was able to answer my questions and then get my get my information that I want to know and and uh and just you know it was just a blessing to be a part of this conversation, man. So thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Definitely, man. Uh, so listen, on the behalf of the core room, man, we like to thank thank you for coming on, bro. We appreciate you. Uh, you got, likewise. You got, you got anything before we go? You got anything that you want to tell them? Like where you can get uh, like with anything that you got coming up? Oh, yeah. Um, I just want to shout everybody out. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. I truly appreciate y'all. Thanks to the core room. Man, it's been an honor and a pleasure. We definitely going to link again. Um, if anybody have any questions, if they need help with anything, uh, travel information, my book, my music, my website. I do genealogy, too. So if people are interested oh, in tracing, oh, they, oh. they want to go into the 1800s, the 1700s. You know, we find census records, birth certificates, death certificates, news articles, old pictures, things like that. I'm a historian. That's what I love to do. So reach out. Feel free to reach out to me anytime. Um, my website is camp, C-A-M-P, Cleveland.org. Man, your new, your new name is Uhuru the Guru. <laughs> guru, man. So listen, man, like I said, this, this has been awesome, man. I feel like it's probably one of my best interviews. And, you know, I said, we appreciate everybody growing with us, knowing with us, you know what I'm saying? Like getting that knowledge with us. So we, we appreciate it. Uh, you know, and, and thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe. Like I said, we got the Call Room podcast. We got Collab. You know, we're giving content for the free 99. You know, like, subscribe, all that rhetoric that you, you know, that, that everybody says, man. You know, we 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 record from the heart, we, we edit these things from the heart, you know, and, and we we you know, we just putting out there for the people. I'm saying so listen uh it's the core room we out good morning Peace. good night good luck good luck <laughs>